looking back at my life and thinking of all these memories that I have that brought me to this place, it's filled with all of these unexpected moments. Who is that? That's Grandma. Growing up, my family definitely went through some, some dark times. But as a nine-year-old kid, magic unexpectedly came into my life. Do you know that Daddy used to dress up like a clown and do magic? Should I paint my face like that on America's Got Talent? <laughs> I should? I had never believed that I could make magic my career. Oh, Mom. There's Mommy smiling. Mommy has a pretty smile, huh? Yeah. But when I met Carrie, she encouraged me to live out my dreams. As soon as we got married, Carrie got pregnant, and at almost four months, we lost that baby. Everything seemed so helpless. But at the exact same time that we were due to have that child was when Xander came into our life. I, love you. I remember holding him for the first time, and I didn't know anything could feel like that. And then we adopted Silas, his older brother. My wife and my boys, those unexpected moments, I would consider the most real magic I've ever experienced. I am one performance away from possibly winning this competition, and tonight, I want Xander and Silas to know you never have to stop chasing your dreams. Wow. No matter how hard life gets, there's always some kind of magic ahead of you. You guys good? So, so, so good to be back. So, um, as I was thinking about what I wanted to do for tonight, I actually realized that tomorrow is my parents' 37th anniversary. So I thought I'd show them a little love. Yeah, you guys can give it up, they're amazing. Uh, yeah, second, second applause. I, um, I love celebrating my parents' anniversary because when I was young, my parents' marriage actually fell apart. Our, our family was a mess. And the first time that I experienced magic, it wasn't a card trick and it wasn't a coin trick. It was a person. Someone stepped into my parents' lives, helped them get sober and back on their feet. They helped put my family back together simply because they cared. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Judges, I had everybody in the audience write down a way that they could impact just one life. See, tonight for the finals of America's Got Talent, as much as I'd love to just stand here and try and impress you guys with more magic, what I really hope to do is to remind you, all of you, that you are the magic. <laughs> Could you, guys, could you guys all take your piece of papers, crumble them into a ball, and hold them above your head? On the count of three, I'm gonna have you guys throw all of those paper balls to the judges' table. So judges, watch out. Here we go, one, two, three. Go ahead and throw them. <laughs> so there are... <laughs> They're still coming. It's amazing. There are over, there are over 2,000 people in this theater tonight, which means if everyone commits to what they wrote down, maybe that's 2,000 lives that could be changed. And if everyone watching from home does the same thing, maybe that's millions more. Howie, Heidi, Sophia, Simon, I want each of you guys to grab just one paper ball, any one that you want, just select one. It could be anyone. Yeah, it doesn't have to be one right in front of you either. Simon's uh, deciding between two. I have one right here. Oh, Heidi changed her mind. Heidi Klum. Are you open it? You guys all got one? Yeah? Um, can we welcome Terry Crews out here? Terry, can you come out here and join us? Give it up for Terry Crews. Terry, I'm going to have you hold on to this pin. Be careful. It is sharp. Okay. And um, we're going to use a paper from just one of the judges. Which judge's paper ball do you want to use? Simon. Simons? Change your mind or are you good? Nope, I'm Oop, good. Simon. I'm, I'm going to take that from you. You got your and then on one? I know you had two. You were yeah. kind of back and forth. So um, I'm going to keep this as fair as I can. Have 
actually Terry do something for me? I'm going to have you, uh, can you just tell everybody what this says? It says, give my cool clothes to another kid that needs them. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Can you, uh, I gave you that pin. Would, would you mind popping that balloon? Right now? Yeah, go ahead and pop it. <laughs> Woo! Um, did you see that paper just yeah. came out? Yeah. So look, that paper's been in this balloon the whole time. Out of thousands of paper balls, you guys selected this one. Terry, can you please unfold that paper okay. and show everybody what it says? It says, wow. <laughs> it says, give some of my clothes to another kid who needs them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. you can sit down, man. Thank you. Give it Thank up one you. more time for Terry Crews. <laughs> So, uh, actually, who, who wrote this, by the way? Can you stand up? Who wrote this? Over here? Dude, first of all, this is amazing. You're never too young to make a difference, man. Hold on to that generous spirit. It'll go further than you even know. Give it up for this guy. Thank you. Second, another thing. I love that what you wrote started with the word give. Because giving is the foundation of change giving your time, giving your resources, giving yourself. See, when someone stepped into my parents' lives because they were willing to give, it changed the course of their future, which in turn changed the course of mine. And that impact has now even reached to our two boys. And because of that person, I get to stand on this stage and do what I love. It's like that one little thing just keeps going. Something so seemingly small can become so much more than what we might have ever expected. pieces of paper, hold them to the camera. This is my reminder to you guys that a small act of kindness can go a really long way. Judges, audience, America, thank you for everything you have given me. I'm so incredibly grateful. I love you guys. God bless you. I'm Dustin Tavella. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. My mind can make Mount Everest out of a molehill. No brand name game, my budget is no frills. The show skills are so ill after it's seen. Then all of you need to be quarantined. The road in a rhyme, we follow in the samurai code. But we don't take orders from the Shogun. Maintaining independence like a slave on a lamb. So I'm writing freedom songs for the sake of my fam. Still, on the bubble out the woods with the shiners. Open up your tap and go some style over your cider. I got a heap and helping up some beef for you riders. Sharpen your incisors, allow me to a Wider. Write a million pages, trap and keep it in a binder. Paint a vivid picture over pristine primer. Running with a shovel, chasing rabbits out the briar. Double up your trouble, throwing fuel on the fire. Yo.
Uh, my name is Keith Apicary. I'm 35 years old, and I'm from Winsocket, Rhode Island. Right now, I'm living with my mom, which is fine. Uh, it's not ideal. And what are you going to do today? I guess you could call it dancing. Bodily maneuvers is what I call it. Just kind of a sequence of rhythmic spasms. Ever since I played my first video game, I was hooked. And that is what led me into dancing, because I love video game music so much I couldn't not move to it. I feel I have something different to show, but I just don't want them to be like, he's a weirdo, get him out. We do, you know, because there's like so many people they gotta look at. Hey, I'm Katie Kay, and I jello wrestle. Growing up in my town, all the kids played soccer or wrestling, so I think that kind of what separated me, and I got picked on a lot. But playing video games and dancing was an escape. Wrestling, as far as I know, normally involves two people. Well, in quarantine, you gotta switch things up. <laughs> I know this is literally the opportunity of my lifetime, and I don't want to blow it and waste it, so tonight I'm just gonna go out there and give it everything I have. Make it happen, man. AGT is yours, baby. And I'm ready. Oh my god, hi! Who are you? I don't think they're ready for a pair. Oh, wait, wait, Keith. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, hi. You're not supposed to be here yet. There, now, you get, you got this, Keith. Yeah, sure. It's for real. Okay. You got it, brother. Ugh. Hello, sir. Woo! Welcome to AGT. Hi. What's your name? Hi. My, my name's Keith Apicary. What do you do for a living? Uh, well, I'm nothing. <laughs> so, how old are you? Uh, 35. 35? Yeah, 1986. Yeah. <laughs> on the dot. <laughs> were you born on January 1st? No, March 3rd, 1986. What, do, what are you going to do here tonight? I'm going to do some dancing uh, maneuvers for you guys. Dancing? Yeah. Go ahead, young man. The stage is yours. But I'm not a dancer. That's the thing. I'm not a dancer. You're not a dancer. I just like to dance. Good, good, good. Me we too. like watching people okay. dance. Okay. <laughs> just want to preface. <laughs> okay. He's part, he's, he's part of my routine. Just You're blowing dance. it. Please dance. 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 No, dance. he's dance. <laughs> Show him what you got, Keith. I've got to be honest with you, based on our little talk before, and I thought, oh, this is going to be just awful. And then I just loved every second of it. I thought you were amazing. Amazing as a word. 
I mean, I'm not a dance expert. I'd rather watch you than the ballet, I've got to be honest with you. I would. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sophia. I mean, it was so unexpected, and that's what I love about this show. I loved it. I mean, you did the worm. You did something I didn't even know what it, it was. You did. You are such, you know what you good. are? One word comes up. You're a surprise. Yes, for real. I just wanted to say that I feel, I feel really good right now. Aww. May I be the first, Keith, to give you a yes? I love you, yes. Keith Apicari, I'm very excited that you're going to be part of America's Got Talent. You get your third yes from me. And for me, your fourth yes for you. Thank you so, so much. My name's Peter Antonio. I'm 31 from London, and I'm a psychic. As a child, I was always a little odd, and I ended up realising that I had a natural gift that was really unique. And I sort of became obsessed with this idea of being able to tell what's in people's minds and maybe predict their futures. Over the years, working on this ability and honing it, clearing my mind before I go on stage is really important. There's noise and people in the audience and things going on in my own life. And I need to be able to turn that down. I sort of just tune everything out. When I'm inside someone's mind, it's a lot like when you've just woken up from a dream and you've got like those like flashes of feelings and pictures. As you're waking up more, you're sort of forgetting it and it's sort of drifting away. And I'm constantly trying to re-stitch it together and figure out how it connects to the person in front of me. I understand why people could be quite scared of it, because it's their deepest, darkest thoughts. There's a really big opportunity for me to showcase my abilities to a big group of people on America's Got Talent. I hope that I make a connection with the judges, and I can't wait to get inside their minds. Hello. Hello. And what's your name, please? My name's Peter Antonio. You sound British. I am indeed British. I grew up in London and I recently moved to Seattle, Washington. Did you? This is a real beard. It's amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm half Greek, so this is sort of... I came out of the womb with this, basically. It's so, good. So. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so tell us your story, Peter. So, when I was nine, I was on holiday and I bought a tarot deck just on a bit of a whim. I was always a bit of a weird kid. And ever since then, I've sort of been fascinated with developing sort of psychic powers and being able to read into people's minds. So, since then, I've just been building that into a career. Interesting. And, Peter, this means something to you to do well in this competition? Yeah, I knew that moving to America was going to be, like, a big risk. But I knew that I wanted more for myself, and doing well in America's Got Talent is the sort of the key to unlocking all of that, so it means so much to me. OK, well, look, I'm not going to ask any more questions. Uh, we're all wishing you the best of luck. Thank you very much. So let's do it. So in my 20s, I actually worked as a psychic. So people used to ask questions about their love life or their career. But every now and then, someone would ask whether I could use my abilities to find something that they'd lost, whether that was an item of jewellery or the family gold. Um, let me show you what I mean. Terry, will you come out here and join us? Yeah. Terry Crews, everyone. <laughs> so, to replicate the experience of losing something, I made our own America's Got Talent house. Um, so each room is themed for one of the judges. So, Howie, we've got your room. We've got a little microphone in there for your new podcast. And, um, Terry, we've got your gym with some little dumbbells for you. <laughs> Sophia, I know that you love fine dining, so we've got some food in there for you and an X-ray of teeth, because I know that you have a background in dentistry. <laughs> um, Heidi, your love of fashion, but also painting, so we've got lots of art supplies in there for you and a cat, because I know you recently got a cat. Um, and Simon, I've put the things that you love the most in the world for your room, so we've got your dogs and pictures of you. Um, so... <laughs> but something's going to go missing from this house. Terry, I'm going to look away in a moment. I want you to pick something from the house and make it go missing. Hide it somewhere, OK? okay. So I'll look away so that okay. you... No, I'm not looking. I'm... Just choose an object, anyone that you like, and hide it somewhere, and let me know as soon as you've done that. OK. 
done? Yes. Perfect. Something that I learned is actually we're all far more similar than we realize. People tend to lose their objects in mostly the same places, which made my job a lot easier. In fact, I actually recorded a voicemail message just to save myself time. In fact, to save time, I'll just play it for you. You're through to Peter. I'm unable to take your call right now, but if you're looking for a lost object, Tauruses, it's under the stairs. Libras, it's behind the sofa. And if you're a Leo called Terry Cruz, the baseball bat's in your left pocket. And is that right? Did you choose the baseball bat? And is it yes. in your left pocket? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what in the world? And I realise that's a phone message, so the sceptical amongst you might be thinking, oh, he just has a thousand voicemails saved. So I also went analogue. Thank you so much, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. For America's Got Talent, I want to push my skills much further. So, do any of the judges have an item of jewellery they're really connected to? Sophia, I can see your engagement ring there. Um, I want you to relive the memory of your engagement. Maybe think of a detail that only you and Joe know, maybe your close family, something that there's no way I could know. Yep. Got something in mind? Now, Sophia, will you um, take off your engagement ring and hand it to Simon, please? You can trust him, don't worry. Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Oops. So now Simon has that engagement ring that means so much to you, we're going to lose it. No, no. Judges, oh. stand up and come with me. What the heck? Let's go, people. Oh. Where are we going? So as you can see, whilst you were watching the other acts, I laid out a thousand ring boxes. Simon, you're now going to go and lose Sophia's ring in one of the boxes. So in a moment, Sophia and I are going to turn away so that we can't peek at all, and you can walk around the room and choose one of the boxes and put Sophia's ring in it. Happy with that? Yeah. Perfect. Sophia, yeah. we're going to look away so that we can't see... Any box. Look away, so it can be a surprise for you as well as me. OK. I'm going to get a bigger diamond? No. <laughs> Any box you like, Simon. No peeking. Where do you get this many white boxes? I said, change my mind. Um, I ordered them online, and there was a lot of very confused phone calls about why I wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, done. We turn around? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you've hidden the, the ring somewhere. Now it's my job to try and find it. Sophia? Yes. I want you to bring to mind the memory that is attached to that ring. So everything about it, the details that only you know, the clearer it is in your mind, the more likely it is that I'll be able to find your ring. It's very clear. Very clear in yes. your mind. I'm going to set off. <laughs> OK, so just keep reliving that memory in your mind and just sort of guide me, like, as if you, as if you did know where it was. You're just sort of, you're magnetically drawn to what... No. It's not right. Just keep... Oh, I think I know where it is. So have you got a psychic impression? What? Why? Are you a psychic too now? Oh. When when you were proposed, you weren't at home, were you? You were you were somewhere else. You were far away. Yes. Yes. And the plans had to change for your engagement. Yes. It, yes. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Sophia, how confident are you 
that I'm holding your ring? Like zero. Zero? Yeah. There's no way you know that that's there. Your ring, with all the memories and emotions attached, you guided me to your lost ring. You didn't even know where it was. So let's see how we did. Your ring. And there's a detail. I'm going to throw up. But there's a detail about your engagement that's sort of stuck in your mind that no one knows. Joe got down on one knee, and as he did, there was a rainbow. Is that correct? Yes? <laughs> yes, what? I am sort of down on my knee, Sophia, so you could put me out of my misery any time you like. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you very much. How did you know that? Where was the rainbow? He was going to propose by the ocean, but then he panicked and he came upstairs to the room and proposed to me in the room. And then suddenly he gave me the ring and said, and I look up and there was a rainbow. Oh my God. Aww. It was beautiful. Hi. Hello. What is your name? My name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. And where are you from? France. Where else? <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. And what do you do in France? Mentalism. Ooh, Mentalism? Wow. Yes. Uh, how old are you? I am 32 since yesterday. Oh, happy happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. So how long have you been doing mentalism? 12 years. So you do it full time for a living? Now, yes. And what is the reason that you wanted to be here on America's Got Talent? When, when you love something, you want to share with as much people as possible. And this is the biggest stage of the world. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Go ahead. Mentalize. I'm gonna show you a mind transmission performance, but between you, judges, and Mr. Terry Crews. Wow. Come on, Terry. Okay. Come on. I got you. Mind transmission. Thank you so much. Right, so I come to you. Okay, here we have got photos of AGT finalists from all the seasons of the show. Ladies, you will pick one each, and without showing it, look at it, then put it under your cup. Heidi, put your finger on a photo. Oh. Okay, take it, keep your finger. Perfect, thank you, that's yours, no worries. <laughs> Sophia, put your finger on a photo. This. That one, take it. Okay, now, let's do this. Put it under your cup, he said. Now, I'm gonna extract the mind of Terry. Then, grab your thoughts and put it inside. And so, do a mind transmission. Keep your concentration and your eyes closed from now till the end. And imagine, imagine me extracting the mind from your head. And going inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, then deeper to your memories. This is crazy. Ladies, think about your contestants, their talents, their props. Heidi, I'm gonna extract the contestant from your mind. Does it make sense? Sophia, think about your contestants. Does it make sense? Then, Terry, imagine your mind coming back to your head. And open your eyes. Take these boys and write the names of the two contestants you felt. Terry. Okay. It's all up to you. Show us the board. Is that correct? 
It is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. And Shimmy. Wait, one last thing. Judges, at the very beginning, I left a photo of myself here. The other reason why I left it even before you chose your contestants is because this photo contains my prediction. Whoa. Thank you. So good. I mean, seriously, please. A round of applause for Terry, oh, come on! Thank you! That was amazing. Heidi, what'd you think? I mean, we need one of those brain things that you had there. That was incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. And what you've done from my brain to Terry's, it was incredible. Thank you. Sophia! I don't even know what to say. That was so much fun and it was such a different thing to watch. Thank you so much. And Simon? This, this act was sensational, absolutely sensational. It was taking this kind of act into the future. It was unlike anything we've ever seen before. This is a Vegas act, absolutely brilliant. Thank you. The magic is far beyond anything I have seen before. That was appearing in front of us. Those graphics were just floating in the air. I saw Terry Crews' brain in front of me. It was crazy. I think that's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I'm so excited. I'm going to start off the voting with a, as you would understand, we. Oh, good job. I give you your second we. Oh, yeah. Go We've had so many wees today, and now you've got a fourth wee. <laughs> wee, 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 Thank you. Is that the most what amazing? Is that? I, I thought I was watching something on my phone. What is it? It's magic. Guess what? Four yes, I got it. <laughs>